Hello, hello. I am so excited for today's video. We are doing a huge Buff Bunny collection haul and try on. This is a collection. It's the Naked Collection that's launching on June 24th at 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. As soon as I saw this collection, I was like, this is gold. The new pieces that were coming out, the returning pieces, the colors, we've got neutrals, browns, oh, beiges. It's so good. I was like, I need to do a YouTube video. And there's some collections I'm super, super excited excited about some I'm not as excited about and those ones I don't usually do like a full YouTube video for. If you choose to use code Olivia, you will save 10%. Make sure you enter my monthly giveaway because I give away five $50 gift cards every single month. So if you choose to support me, thank you so much. I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway in this video as well. So I will mention that in just a little bit here. It's literally been one year exactly since I gave birth to Oakland. And so my body has changed so much. So my sizing has kind of changed a little bit too. I'm pretty much small across the board, um, except for in sports, whereas usually in medium, sometimes a small so just kind of wanted to give that update I'll also include my measurements down below I honestly don't know what they are right now so I'll do that after I film this we're gonna start with sports bras first you guys have requested for me to do like categories versus sets together first up we've got the twisted sports bra this is a brand new bra to Buff Bunny collection. It is a super, super minimalistic bra. I love the cute little twist detail on the front. It is a V-neck as well in the front, and then there's a big swoop on the back. So this is a very light support as well as a light coverage bra. If you do have a bigger chest size or you just prefer more coverage, this might not be the bra for you. I did test out jumping around in this sports bra, and I actually found it to stay in place decently well with that being said I'm like an a B cup so my boobs are um, more on the smaller side to say the least but as for support I could definitely see myself working out in this bra like doing like a strength training session but probably not using it for like cardio or hit workouts or something like that but this is in the Newbury fabric so it is super super soft and I am wearing a size small I decided to size down to a small for this one just because it is so minimalistic the last thing I'd want is like a very minimal bra to be like too oversized so I found that the small fit great and I'm like a 34 a B I'm not really sure. And this little cutie is coming in Stardust, which is this color. We've seen this before and truly it's like the most perfect, beautiful beige. Sometimes beige is gonna be like a little bit too yellow for me. This is like so pretty, I love it. It's also coming in Brady Brown and Onyx Black. One thing I forgot to mention is that this sports bra does have removable cup pads, which is really nice because I often find that a lot of like minimal sports bras don't have cup pads. I did try to fit in like the regular oval ones into here and it, it didn't fit because it is more minimal. So just wanted to note that these ones are different. So I'll really need to make sure that these bad boys stay with these because I usually separate them when I wash them. Next, we have the Revolution bra that I'm actually wearing right now. This has returned so many times to Buff Bunny because everyone loves it. It's the beautiful square neckline. Love that it's longer lined if you're looking for a bit more coverage. Has really pretty strappy detail on the back and it's in the Newbury fabric so it's super super soft this time it is coming out in five different colors I am wearing stardust and I'm actually wearing a size small so typically I do a size medium in the revolution bra and I like the fit of the medium it's a lot more roomy it's not as like tight on the straps I would just say stay true to size with what you usually do for buff collection this sports bra offers great coverage and great support as well so whether you have a small chest or a big chest this bra just truly works for everyone and also looks really good on everyone too. I was so excited to mention the Revolution sports bra because they are coming out with a Revolution halter bra. It is a beautiful. I did request it, but I don't think that they had it in their warehouse yet. So they weren't able to send it. So they sent me this one instead, but the halter is so so nice. I love it because it is in the Newbury fabric. It is the exact same square neckline that we see here. However, it's not longer lined. It's shorter lined. So it would kind of like almost look like this. It is a little bit more on like the lighter support side. Obviously I haven't tried the bra, but from what I can tell and just like what I know about the bra because you only have the one strap that goes around your neck and then just the one band in the back. The halter does have removable cut pads and it is coming in three different colors. If I was to wear this bra, I would probably go for a size small just because again, it is a little bit more minimal, a little bit more on like the light support side, especially compared to like our regular revolution bras. So I would probably go with a size small, but it is so 
pretty and I really want it. I will probably be snagging it. This next sports bra is one of my favorite new pieces that is launching. It is the ribbed seamless sports bra. First off, this color is absolutely beautiful, but I love the one shoulder strap. The fit of this, how it's a little bit longer in length, how I felt in it, the support that I felt. I just truly loved everything about this bra. It's a very like nice, soft, stretchy, kind of like thicker material. It does have ribbing detail on it and I feel like the ribbing is a lot like thicker kind of ribbing material compared to what we've seen from the Material Girl fabric. Another thing I was really happy to see is that there is cut pads in this bra. I'm just gonna flip it inside out. Also another really nice detail that they did is they added the tag on this like piece of fabric here so you can easily cut it out. Um, but when we flip this inside out we can see that there are cut pads in here and we have the option to remove them. Them. Overall though, this bra fits so comfortable. I am wearing a size small and I felt like it had really nice good compression. I probably again could do a medium, it just would be a little bit more of like a looser fit, but with the small I really felt like nice and compressed. Buff Bunny Collection has said that this is a light support bra, probably due to the fact that it's seamless and there's only like one strap, but I honestly felt super secure in it. I feel like it's a little bit more like a medium support. If you have a bigger bust, then you might find that it doesn't offer as much support, of course. Um, I did kind of like have to like fix the one side a little bit, but compared to a lot of different like halter not halter, this is not a halter, one shoulder sports bras that I have tried, this one just I love it. <laughs> this is in the color Mocha. It's also coming in Onyx Black and I'm just obsessed with the leggings that are coming with it too and I'm very excited to share those. Next is the Reversible Sports Bra. This is a bra that is a little bit newer to Buff Bunny. Maybe like a year ago was the first time that we saw it and I've loved it ever since. Again, it's a little bit more of like a minimal light support bra but one of my favorite things about it is that it's reversible. So in this color here, we have the Stardust color and then and the straps as well as like the seam around the back side is in the color dark journey brown so we can flip it inside out and I feel like you almost get like two different sports bras because you're getting two completely different looks with it which I freaking love versatile pieces I just feel like you get a lot more use out of them this one doesn't have removable cut pads which I'm a little bit bummed it's probably not like a really good way to do it because it is reversible but that's like one feature about this bra that I wish it really had. I always just slide those puppies in and they don't really like move around much. So I do wear a size small in this bra. I have tried the medium and the medium always fit a little bit big on me. So ever since the beginning, I started sizing to a small and I definitely prefer the fit of the small in this. This is the new brie fabric and it's also coming in white and cocoa, which is so pretty too. The Foxy sports bra is back. This is a higher neckline bra. It is also also a longer line too so there's lots of coverage on this bra especially on the front on the back it does show a little bit more skin as well as this really like strappy kind of detail it also has adjustable straps which is really nice because then you can really customize the fit over your lats to like make it support and fit you super comfortably the medium fits well again I probably could do a small in this one if I wanted to, to fit a little bit tighter but I'm happy with the fit of the medium with the coverage of this bra it is more on like the medium support side and it does have removable cut pads and it's coming in four different colors. And we have one last bra that I didn't receive. It is the Naked Sports Bra and this is the sports bra with the highest compression in this collection. It is higher neckline. It does have this like mesh detail across the front. On the back, it is racer back. This bra does have a seamless edge detailing and around the armpit, it is a little bit more of like a deeper kind of cut. So you still get lots of support up here, but it does go a little bit deeper around like your armpit. Um, but with that, it still is like a medium to high support bra. So it'd be really great for like hit or running. And it has removable cup pads too. So this bra is coming in mocha as well as onyx black okay time to move into leggings first up we have the brand new ribbed seamless leggings so this is the exact same material as the sports bra i loved the way that these fit i felt super held in secure compressed and 
The like seamless material like is really soft and comfortable. I feel like they did a really great job on it. Again, I also really like the ribbing detail. It doesn't have the ribbing all the way through. If you look at the back, there's just kind of like the regular seamless material on the back. And then we kind of have a little bit of like booty contour going on. I also love that this seamless legging has a little bit of the booty scrunch. It's nothing crazy. Honestly, I wouldn't even really say that it's like a scrunch. It's almost more just like a, like a fake seam there, but it is really nice to give that like glute separation. And I noticed such a big difference on my leggings that have this and that don't. And then I also love that there is the seams that also contours the booty too. So this is in the color Mocha as well. It's also coming in Onyx Black. These are a 24 inch inseam and they are a full length legging because they are like so stretchy, that's insane. You can kind of make them like work for whatever length you want. I wear a size small in all of the leggings across the board. These leggings are more on the compressive side of this collection. They're like a medium compression level and I definitely sp felt that, especially through the waistband and just the material. It's like very, very comfortable, a little bit thicker. So these would be really nice to lounge in as well. The next legging that I wanted to mention is the Queen Bee legging. And now this is a legging that launched literally years ago. I don't even remember when it launched. It was so long ago. I had these leggings and they are like more of like a performance kind of feel. They are a nylon spandex fabric. They are 26 inches like full length and they kind of have this like mesh detailing on like both the like front hip as well as kind of like your back hip. And I had these for a long time, probably like for a couple years. I honestly didn't find myself wearing them that often. So I did end up giving them away to my girlfriend. They are a nice legging. I honestly don't really wear the performance leggings very often, so I don't find myself keeping them. If you do like, you know, a little bit of mesh detailing and you like that performance kind of fabric, you probably will really like these leggings. They are really cute, different kind of detail. I think it used to have a front seam anyway. Now there's no front seam, which of course we love to see that. They are designed for like higher impact cardio performance kind of like workouts, but obviously you can wear them for anything. We are back. My battery died and literally like within a minute, Chris came home with pizza and it was perfect timing because I was very hungry. So I grabbed a slice of pizza. If you're in Edmonton, Sepp's Pizza, so good. Now we're ready to roll again. So next up we have the Legacy Leggings. This is the front of them. Um, I love these leggings. They're probably my most worn. They definitely are, hands down. Not probably my most worn Buff Bunny Collection legging. Super simple on the front, very high rise, no front seam. They're a 26 inch inseam. And it has this really nice, like, kind of like seam, three seam detail on the back. Kind of looks a little bit like a butterfly. I feel like it contours the booty really nicely. And then of course we have the regular Buff Bunny, like booty contour, which I always love. These are just, a great legging. They're in that like soft Newbury fabric and I love the way that they fit. I love them for working out, but also just for like lounging in them and wearing them just day to day. So I wear a size small. This is in the color Journey Brown. It's, it's coming in five different colors, but I really love this color because it's so dark that it almost looks like a little bit like black. It's not, it's not that close to black. Here, I'm wearing like black shorts right now just so you can kind of like see the difference. I feel like this color, as well as honestly, all of the colors in this collection are just so great to style for like day-to-day -day pieces because like sometimes I want to wear active wear, but I don't want to wear like a super like bright pink or bright blue outfit. Like I want to wear something that's comfy, but a little bit more neutral. These ones are a medium support legging, but if you haven't tried them, you definitely need to. They are so good. Okay, this is so insane, but I don't have these leggings. It's the Rosa Pocket legging. I literally looked through my whole legging drawer and I don't have any of them right now. I had a couple pairs that I received when I was pregnant and I sized up to a medium during my pregnancy and the medium just doesn't fit right at all. So I put them away in my pregnancy bin, which I don't think, I don't think we're going there again, but I have them there just in case. And I don't have any that fit me right now. So I wanted to show you what the Rosa legging looks like. It is very similar to the legacy legging on the front. And then on the back, there's just no like butterfly seam detail. So even more simple and like 
minimal as far as like seams go compared to the legacy leggings however the rosa pocket leggings have pockets on both of the sides i generally prefer leggings with no pockets over pockets i just never find myself using the pocket so i don't really like having like the extra fabric and i just i never need it so i usually prefer with no pockets but i know a lot of people really do love having pockets so they're really great leggings super comfortable the only color that the rosa pocket legging is coming in is the journey dark brown if you do prefer a legging with a pocket we also have the contour pocket legging. This one is in the Newbury fabric, so it's a very similar fit, feel, compression compared to the Legacy legging, same as the Rosa pocket legging. These are also a 26 inch inseam. They obviously have a pocket in them on both sides. And then th these leggings have a little bit more detail to them. They have the V contour at the front, as well as just like some seams kind of like down the side that are kind of just help shape the body. They are a really nice legging and they're coming in four different colors. The next pant that we have is not a legging, it is a full pant, and it's more of like a lifestyle piece. Definitely not a piece that you'd want to work out in it. You probably could, but you probably wouldn't want to. Um, it is made of like a bamboo viscose and spandex material, so it's very, very soft. Definitely more like a loungewear kind of piece. I have the top of it here, which I'll show in a little bit, but I just kind of wanted to show you the like material. It is super, super, super soft, a little bit more on like the thin side. I'm very excited to wear this as a lifestyle piece. So I imagine like wearing the set together would just be like so nice and comfortable. I love that they decided to come out with a short length as well as the regular length in this pant. So the short inseam is 32 inches and the uh, regular length inseam is 34 inches. They also nailed it because these pants don't have a front seam, love that. And they are like the flare pant, which is just so in right now and they are coming out in three different colors this color i have here is coco so pretty set together would look so cute i wish i had the pants now before we move into the next category let's talk about the giveaway that i'm doing in this youtube video so i am or i've partnered up with buff funny collection and we're giving away two 50 dollars buff funny collection gift cards all you have to do is subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to like like thumbs up this video, it'd be much appreciated. And then make sure you're following Buff Bunny Collection over on Instagram. So those are the two reels, but if you also wanna thumbs up this video, I would much appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below that you've completed those steps. Also let me know what pieces you're excited about that you've seen so far or that you know you are gonna be shopping and you'll be entered into the giveaway. So that's it. Now let's dive into shorts. First, I wanna mention the Lifesaver shorts. We've seen these many times before. They also just launched in the Dreamhouse collection and they have updated the sizing to be more true to size, which is really nice because it just, there's less confusion on sizing. I would say stick to your regular short size. I was previously wearing a medium in these. I am now preferring a small, just finding that the medium is a little bit loose in the waistband. They have this like spandex underneath and then they have this really nice like super light shell over top. So the inseam on the shell for the size extra small is one and a half inches and it does progressively get a little bit longer. So on the extra large, the shell inseam is two inches and five eighths to be very specific. So they are definitely more on the shorter side. I do find that the spandex underneath these shorts just kind of just covers your butt and that's about it. So um, again, not as long as, what were the other shorts called? The flow shorts. Those were a little bit more on like the longer side. These I feel like are a little bit more of like a sporty look. And I really love that it has like the nice slit on the side so you can see a little bit of a leg. In the spandex, we also have a pocket, which is always nice to have I literally never find myself using it but great if if you kind of use those pockets or even remember that they're there <laughs> just day to day I wear these shorts often I also love them for working out going out on walks they're honestly just like overall a really great short sometimes I wish they were like a little bit longer but 
I'm still really happy with them overall and I have them in multiple colors and I truly do love them. This is in the color Stardust. I think I mentioned, but they're coming in six different colors. I also had them previously in the color Donut Worry. Donut Worry is a little bit more on the brown side where like the Stardust is a little bit more of like a cream color. I highly, highly recommend those shorts though, especially if you're into like the flowy kind of shorts. I feel like they did a really awesome job on them. Now my all-time favorite tighter short from Buff Bunny Collection is the Legacy six inch short. The six inch length is perfect. The four inch is like a top seller. I don't understand why, because like the six inch is perfect. I don't know. I don't know why everyone likes the four inch. I love the six inch. The four inch is too short for me. I feel like sometimes my butt's almost hanging out or like they just ride up too quick, you know? But to each their own, I get it. Let me know if you're a four inch or a six inch girly because I am ride or die six inch. So we have the Lacey six inch leggings. I absolutely love these and we'll be getting so much use out of them. This is in the color mocha, which is just such a pretty, like more like medium tone brown. And I, have nothing but good things to say about these. <laughs> they fit exactly the same as the Legacy leggings, so no front seam, nice and high rise, same um, seams on the back with like the three seam detail. But I love the six inch shorts because you can either like wear them a little bit longer and like keep them as long as they go, six inches, or you can kind of like hike them up a bit. And so when I wear them, they're probably more like a four and a half, five inch inseam. But I love that look because I can kind of choose how long I want them. Where with the four inch in seam, which these are coming in three different colors before I move on to the four inch legacy. I find that I put them on and then they're like moving around and then they're like a two inch inseam before I know it. And that's just not what I want, but they are coming out in many different colors. I think six different colors. Let me double check here. Also, I'm sorry if I keep looking over here, I have my computer here cause we got all the facts here and I want to make sure that you have all of the details. Um, but the, uh, legacy four inch shorts are coming out in five different colors. They're the exact same as the six inch shorts, except for a little bit shorter. These are not a color that is launching because everything that's a part of this collection is either white, brown tones, or black. Um, these are just from a previous collection because I didn't um, receive any four inch from this collection, um, but the fit is the same. So I forgot to mention for the six inch shorts, I am wearing a size small. I was previously wearing a medium. I now prefer a small. With the four inch shorts, as you can see in the video, I am finding that they are a little bit loose. I feel like the small, for all shorts fits me best right now and these ones that I'm wearing in the video are a size medium. If you like the rib seamless look and material but you prefer it in shorts or you want it in both, um, they're also launching the shorts as well. They are a four inch inseam. The like style of the short is exactly the same as the legging. I didn't receive the short so I just wanted to kind of show you the leggings because they are pretty much exactly the same. They are coming out in the exact same colors as the other rib seamless which is the mocha and onyx black and the compression is the exact same as the leggings. And then we also have the contour pocket shorts. So if you like shorts, but you want the pocket, they have the contour shorts, which are the exact same as the contour leggings. They are a four inch inseam and they do have pockets on both sides. Those shorts are launching in four different colors and it is also in the Nubri fabric. The next category only has one piece in it and this is the one piece category. We have the Ivy bodysuit. So we have seen the Ivy sports bra and it's been a huge hit. So when I saw that the Ivy bodysuit was coming out, I was very excited. This is a higher neckline bodysuit. It has spaghetti straps that are adjustable. On the sports bra previously, the straps were not adjustable. So I think that that's such a great added detail, especially because everyone's torso is different, especially with bodysuits. Like sometimes they can be so uncomfortable if they're like not giving you enough space. And I experienced that being a tall girl. So I really appreciate that they are adjustable. Another feature I freaking love about this bodysuit is that there's this little clip here. So you can actually unclip it to get in and out of this bodysuit on both sides too. So that's such a nice added detail. I found getting into this bodysuit to be no problem. I was able to get into it and slide my arms through without unclipping it, but 
if you prefer to, you know, not break your arm trying to do that. No, I'm just joking. It actually is really easy to get into. Um, but if you prefer to, you know, take it off that way, you, you definitely can. Now this offers lots of coverage on the front, especially with it being high neck. It is a four inch inseam on the shorts. I low key wish it was six inch, not low key. I have very loudly announced that I much prefer six inch. We have the really pretty ivy detailing that we've seen before. It's like this crisscross spaghetti like kind of design. I shouldn't say spaghetti. I like meant that as like spaghetti strap, but like now you're probably visualizing like a plate of pasta and this is just not going where I want it to. And then we've got the Buff Bunny Collection logo and I love that they added a little bit of booty contour with the seam. So we see this on pretty much every single like legging and short that they come out with, but they really nailed this because there's no friend seam. I find, especially with bodysuits, if there's a seam, you're probably gonna get camel toe. I am very happy with this bodysuit. I really like the fit of it. I am wearing a size medium. It is fitting a little bit big in like my lower half, not even enough to like exchange it for a different size but just enough where if I was to like purchase this or order it again um, I would probably go with a size small for me. Okay next we're going to move into the top category. First we have the rib seamless tank to go with the rest of the rib seamless like line and love this tank. It's higher neckline nice cropped length which i absolutely love and it's the exact same like ribbed material so it's made of the same nylon spandex it is more of like a tight fitting tank and it's high neck has a racer back and it does have removable cup pads too so it's nice because it does offer a little bit of support as well so you can wear this for working out if you are bigger chested um i would say it's more of like a light support bra so like maybe you could wear it for like lifting or um like a light walk but again wouldn't probably wear it for like cardio or hit or like a super high intense activity. Okay, let me take this off because this jacket needs a moment. I love it, that's why I'm wearing it right now. So this is the exposed mesh jacket. I literally did not need to take it off. It's probably better if I was wearing it, but I really didn't know how this was gonna look on. Like it looked nice in pictures, but sometimes even like you really don't know what it's gonna look like until like you get it. I love this jacket. It is so cute, never seen anything like it. It's a super, super lightweight mesh, very, very see-through, like you can literally see me right through it. Um, but I love what they did with this. It's more of like a relaxed fit, so a little bit more on the looser side, loose through the body. It kind of fits like a little bit like a bomber kind of style, but it is more of like a cropped length. Super like loose and lightweight through the arms, and it has this nice collar on it. The collar and the sleeves are the only place on this jacket where it's like a full like opaque material. Um, and I just think it's so cute and like so different from anything I've ever like tried. I am wearing a size small on this one, but I definitely think that I could also wear a medium. When I do up this jacket, it like fits perfect, but it's like almost like tight at the bottom. So if I wanted it to be like a little bit looser around my waist, a medium, you know, might be a better fit in that case. But I actually see myself like wearing this either like just like very like loosely like done up with like a little zip or probably even more so just wearing it like open like this. It is so nice. And I just love like how lightweight it is. It also has pockets on it too. The pocket area does look like it almost is coming across like opaque, but it's actually just like more mesh material so it's just like a little bit less see-through because there is the three layers of mesh but it does have pockets on both sides that are actually functional too. This jacket is literally just like so perfect for like warming up or cooling down after a workout also just like just like a great lifestyle piece. We also have the Go With The Flow crop. This is a very, very lightweight cropped shirt that is more of like a relaxed fit. It is a polyester viscose kind of fabric and it kind of is like see-through at places. It has the like scoop neck in the front and then it has like a crisscross detailing in the back with a strap that goes across the back to kind of like keep the shirt together, but super versatile because you can either wear it with the V-neck in the front or you can wear it with the like scoop in the front. If you're into graphic tees, which I know I am, they have the long sleeve graphic tee coming out. It's coming in three different colors. It has their Moves a Buff Bunny collection across it. It's coming in Stardust, Coco, and Onyx Black. It is a long sleeve fit and it is made from 100% cotton. I briefly showed you this piece before, but this is the ribbed crop that is to go with the ribbed pant. Like I said, it's so soft. It's that bamboo fabric. I really love the way that this piece fits. 
I feel like you can style it up or down, but either way you style it, she is so comfortable. I am wearing a size small and I love the fit of the small. I probably could do a medium if I wanted it to be like more of like a looser kind of fit, but I like the way that it is like a little bit tighter on me in the size small. And this one is coming in the same colors as the pant, which is cocoa, mocha, and onyx black. We've got one more ribbed seamless piece. This is the ribbed seamless crop jacket. So this is obviously a different color from what I was showing previous. This is the onyx black, but it's the exact same material and design of what we have seen in the sports bra, the legging, and also the cropped tank. This is a really nice jacket. It's a little bit more on like the thicker side, like I mentioned. So it's perfect for, you know, more of like a chillier summer day, but also like I could definitely and will be definitely wearing this like through all seasons. I love the quarter zip on this jacket and the like higher collar neck. I feel like it meets my leggings perfectly and being a taller girl, being 5'8", sometimes things can be a bit too cropped on me. So it fit great through the body, but I did find a couple things with the sleeves that I didn't love. First thing is that I wish they were like a tiny bit longer, even like half an inch, an inch longer, especially because there is the thumb hole. I just found that it was like a little bit too tight. And I also found that the like sleeve like not flared out, like it's kind of like straight. So I just found it to be a little bit loose around my wrist. Now with this jacket, I am wearing a size medium. So maybe a size small would be a better fit. It might fit me a little bit better like through the arm as well. And maybe also like at the wrist too. But overall, I really like this jacket. The sleeves are minor and it's probably more of like a me issue because I am a little bit taller. Although I do wish that they did taper in a tiny bit, um, but I will still definitely be wearing this. It is coming in mocha as well as onyx black, which is what I am wearing here. Now onto accessories, we have the Game Changer belt bag coming back again. It's coming in three different colors. If you're into the belt bag across the body or as a proper belt bag, we've got some nice neutrals coming out. We also have the dad hat coming out in three different colors too, ivory, nutmeg, and onyx black. Always like nice to have some hats around, especially for me, I always wear them on like days I really need a hair wash. It has like a really nice leather um, like strap across the back. It's just a nice little detail. We have the Game Changer backpack coming back in three different colors as well. No updates have been made. It's the same backpack that we know and love. I use mine all of the time. I have a 16 inch laptop. I'm literally using it right now. And I actually find it really difficult to find bags and backpacks that actually fit my laptop because most backpacks and bags are designed for the 13 inch. So I just put it in the big compartment and I use it often, but it's coming in three different colors. And then we also have the scrunchies, which pretty much launch in every single collection. Those are coming in seven different colors. And we have full crew socks and half crew socks that are coming in Stardust. So that's everything that's launching. If you want to get 10% off your purchase, you can use code Olivia. Thank you so, so, so much for being here until the end. Like I truly appreciate you so much. And I hope that you have found some pieces that are part of this collection that you like and you will feel really, really good in. If you do choose to support me, please don't forget to enter my giveaway. I can't tell you how many people will like tell me that they supported me and then I never see their name in the giveaway. And I'm like, what the heck? Get in the giveaway. I just randomly select winners and you have a good chance of winning. So um, I am really, really excited for this collection. If you have any questions on any of the pieces or anything at all, let me know and I will definitely help you out. I'm going to request a size small in the ribbed um, zip jacket so I can see if that's a better fit for me as far as like arms and just overall fit goes. So I'll definitely keep you posted over there. But thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one.